Imagine a dinosaur with a long neck like a giraffe, but the arms of a T-Rex, stubby and two-fingered. Throw in a beak and teeth perfect for chomping plants, and you got the recipe for one of the most puzzling creatures to ever walk the earth, the Chilosaurus. Nicknamed the Platypus dinosaur for its bizarre mix of features, this Jurassic oddity has paleontologists scratching their heads. Was it a meat-eater turned veggie lover? A long-necked theropod rebel? In 2004, Diego Suarez, who was only seven years old at the time, discovered the first fossil, a Chilosaurus, as he was traveling in the Andes of Chile with his scientific parents. The bones were found in the Toqui Formation, which is located in the southern region of Chile. A head, spine, limbs, and hips were among the components that were still in the process of being assembled into their whole. The fossils exposed a previously unknown species of dinosaur. In recognition of the young guy who discovered it, the dinosaur was given the name Chilosaurus de Gosuarezi. When paleontologists first lay eyes on the bones of the Chilosaurus, they were perplexed by the variety of characteristics that it had. It possessed a distinct combination of characteristics that gave it the appearance of being several various kinds of dinosaurs, which made it difficult to place it into the categories that are now in use. A number of its characteristics, such as its body that resembled a bird and its long neck, gave the impression that it was linked to theropod dinosaurs such as the Velociraptor and the Tyrannosaurus rex. The fact that it consumed plant-based diet and had teeth fashioned like leaves, on the other hand, indicated that it was more similar to Ornithischian dinosaurs such as Triceratops and Stegosaurus. Because of this peculiar combination of characteristics, there was a great deal of dispute and uncertainty about the genetic connections between Chilosaurus and other species. There are a few distinguishing characteristics that may be seen on the body of a Chilosaurus. The appearance of this dinosaur is that of a herbivorous dinosaur of medium size, and it stands on two legs, much like theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex. In spite of this, Chilosaurus has a number of physical characteristics that are more typical of other dinosaur species, which makes it more difficult to place it in a single group. For instance, its long neck and tiny skull are reminiscent of sauropodomorphs, which is the group that includes giants with long necks like Brachiosaurus. Both of these characteristics are present in this creature. There is also a striking similarity between its front limbs and those of Ornithischian dinosaurs. This creature has powerful hands with three fingers, which are ideal for gripping plants. Due to the fact that its hip seems to be a combination of characteristics from both theropods and ornithischians, it is comparable to both of these groups. Because of the arrangement of its hip bones and pelvic structure, it seems to have had a morphology that was somewhere in the middle of that of theropods and ornithischians. Furthermore, Chalosaurus had teeth that are fashioned like leaves and resemble the teeth of early sauropodomorphs. This shows that Chilosaurus was able to utilize these teeth to assist in the digestion of plant stuff. In addition to calling into doubt the conventional categories of dinosaurs, this assortment of morphological characteristics demonstrates how intricate the evolutionary connections were between these prehistoric reptiles. Based on the findings of one research, it is possible that Chilosaurus consumed mostly plant matter, including ferns, cycads, and conifers. The form of its teeth, which are comparable to those of other herbivorous dinosaurs, is what causes us to conclude that this statement is accurate. Grinding and processing plant matter is the purpose of the teeth, which are flat and fashioned like leaves. From the findings of another investigation, it was hypothesized that Chilosaurus consumed both vegetation and small animals. This theory is supported by a variety of characteristics, including teeth that are capable of consuming plants and other characteristics that bring to mind the concept of hungry dinosaurs. It is possible that they consumed a wide variety of foods, such as insects, tiny animals, or flesh that they discovered on the ground. In the beginning, there were experts who believed that Chilosaurus was a theropod dinosaur, which indicated that it consumed meat. But more research into its bones, such as the fact that it does not have any teeth that are sharpened and that it has large claws for hunting, has led some people to question the validity of this notion. Gelatinous secretions from the digestive tract of an animal may occasionally provide direct information about the food that the animal consumed. On the other hand, there is not a great deal of concrete evidence from the stomach fluids of Chilosaurus on what it consumed at this time. When fossils of Chilosaurus were examined, the contents of its intestines were not discovered to the fossilized. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this.